Alright. What's going on, Mr. Aston Martin? Welcome to the race car friend vlog. They got hella Lamborghinis here. But no, but, I'm I'm super happy with it, man. I gotta I gotta get it, I gotta get it done to my spec. I'm gonna wrap the um the mirrors black. I'm gonna wrap the roof black. Oh, okay, okay. And, um, I got some little ideas on what I'm gonna do in the grill. Mm. That's gonna make it my just my little thing. And uh yeah, I can't wait. Man. Yeah, this love, this hate, lies and games. Alright guys, so today is a really, really special day for me. Um, I don't know how to really even start out this video because it really is a, an important day for me. So basically, I got into being a YouTuber because I saw, I've watched other YouTubers that, because I'm a car guy, so I enjoy watching car guys. And you know, I started out by watching people like Street Speed 717, Stradman, and you know, then I was like, man, these guys must be doing really well on YouTube for them to you know to buy the cars and stuff and all that and and then uh i started out when i found out we were having my first daughter when i found out that my wife was pregnant and we're getting re we were getting ready to have a daughter i was like all right i need to step it up i need to get on youtube and create a you know a, a extra source of income doing something that i love which is something i was doing for free years ago just you know doing car stuff and being around the car community and having fun with cars and trucks and stuff like that and and then like i did it but I, I was very like slow to really like go all in and you know kind of show myself on camera and stuff like that i was very nervous and stuff like that and then um then eventually i, I came across a couple youtubers to kind of change things for me uh first youtuber i came across was a uh, q the chaotic shout out to q uh, and he was he was one of the people that like I, I, I just you know I sense good energy in him and I kind of gravitate towards him. Uh, then I started seeing people like um, I think it was Monta Fame, uh, Demonology, people like that that like I actually ended up meeting. I ended up meeting Demonology. I ended up meeting uh, Monta Fame. Shout out to them too. And and then uh, but then I you know I ended up I ended up like just kind of gravitating towards the people that weren't just doing YouTube just to do YouTube and make money because like I knew I wanted to do it to kind of get in and showcase stuff that I enjoy doing but then I started feeling like man I want to do it in a way where I could benefit other people I want to help other people I want to like you know other people that want to get into this YouTube thing and try to you know create that extra income to take care of their family and stuff like that and then I uh, linked up with uh, Blueprint One Ali as well, and eventually 100 Gang Nate, and we created something called the MOC. You know, uh, the, jokingly, it started out as a joke, as a meta culture. We'll explain what that whole thing is about later on. But um, <laughs> so yeah, so we created that, and, and our whole goal was to like, all right, we're gonna be consistent and do well at this YouTube thing, and but we're also gonna try to help people along the way. We didn't just want to be channels where. Like we're just you just see us in fancy cars and we're enjoying ourselves and then that's it. Like and, and not this and anybody who who that's their thing. But we also wanted to do stuff that inspires other people to get their life on point and would even give information, like especially like with Blueprint One Elite, like he gives a lot of information to people that are trying to attain certain cars or let you know how to fix and do your own thing. And same thing with Q. Q gives a lot of information, you know, about how to do certain things. And 100 Gang Nate, I feel he's like one of the most inspiring ones because it, it, eventually you guys will see what his whole journey is about and like, you know, how he got to where he is right now. And it's very inspiring. Just knowing them is very inspiring to me. And that leads us to another person for me personally that I found very inspiring and that was Will, Mid Will Motivation. So Will Motivation, from the moment I saw his channel, the first thing that I caught on to was that this guy is not, he, he does not need to do YouTube. Why is he doing it? And I realized that he was doing it to help other people. Like I realized like that was like what drove him. What drove him was to like to help other people and to help people like, you know, find ways to take care of themselves financially and, and, and also just putting good energy out there. So I saw him as a like-minded individual. I saw him as somebody that, uh, somebody that could inspire people to be more than what they currently are. 
And that's why, you know, for me, this is a big deal because he's one of the most successful people that I found that is on YouTube, but also shares that same mindset and that same journey that we in the MOC uh, have as well. And yeah, so I'm getting ready to go. Uh, I'm heading down to Miami to go see him take delivery of one of his uh, new supercars. So I'm gonna, uh, you know, I don't know exactly how this is gonna go, how it's gonna play out, but hopefully it, he'll be the person that I, I, I pretty much envision him to be just watching the videos and everything. And let's see how this goes. See, all right. What's going on, Mr. Aston Boy? Welcome to the race car friend vlog. <laughs> Hopefully I can get this view. Yeah, there you go. Like a hard ride. Sharp right onto Oaks Road. Oh, it's telling you sharp right onto Oaks Road. We finally made it over here to link up with Well Motivation. And I see the new whip that he just got here. This thing is ill. What's up, yeah? <laughs> Ooh, yeah, he got him a he got him a mean one here. What's this? We got the. It's not a Z06, is it? No, nah, okay, it's just, it's a C8. But yeah, my man, my man got a clean, clean Lamborghini, and I don't know what green this is, but this green is gorgeous. Woo! And these wheels, yeah, this is tight. Go through some of the some of the whips here. We got Lamborghini for days. And dude, look at these. You guys ever seen these before? <laughs> this this is crazy right here. This is crazy. And they got like they got hella Lamborghinis here. bunch of huracans like if you guys want a huracan <laughs> and then they got the bmws got the m3s right here yeah this is this is tight all right let's go link up with will i know you guys this is what you wanted to see so let's go link up with will motivation yeah. actually i'm gonna wait but look at the showroom guys the showroom here is sick <laughs> race car friend oh man finally we meet up man hey, hey i appreciate you coming out so are you based down here yeah yeah okay, so i'm okay. like three hours north i'm three okay. hours north up but in, uh what part melbourne okay okay yeah i drove believe it or not man i had a flight yesterday uh-huh and my flight got canceled uh-huh i drove yesterday all the way here hold on you mean you drove from where you live to here from ohio god I left I left at 10 a.m. and I got here five o'clock in the morning. Yeah, so you heard my three hours. I mean, get that three hours out of here. <laughs> that's, that's nothing. Yeah, yeah. God. Yeah. So, so I, how how do you like this, man? Okay, so we gonna interview ready? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Live. Okay. Yeah. Man, um, dream come true, man. Uh, this is my first new exotic car that I actually. Specked out? I specked it out in the first new one. Wow. All, the other, all of the other exotic cars I bought were used, so it's somebody else's spec. Right, right. So this is the first time I actually got to sit down and say, okay, I want this, I want that. Oh. And, and it came out perfect, they didn't forget anything. Right, right. So uh, it's a Lamborghini Huracan Evo rear wheel drive. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, the spec is spectacular. The color is Verde Ithaca. That's what I was wondering. I was wondering what's that color called. Yeah, so the yeah. special thing about this color, mm. in the sunlight, it's got like a pink. Oh flake yeah, there. I can see it from here. Yeah, it's got. I like did a not pink notice flake. that when I got when I was like just walking, but as I go in close, you can it's see the little pink, pink flake. flake. Yeah. So my plans for it. Um, of course, I'm going to tint it up first thing first. Right. Paint correction on it to bring out more of that pearl. Right. Uh, ceramic, not ceramic. Um, PPF? PPF. Right, right. And then. Um, and then uh, some wheels eventually, and then I'll, I'll color match the brakes. But my plan to make the brakes a little special mm -hmm. is I'm gonna color match the paint, mm -hmm. but I'm gonna ask them to put more pearl in it to make it a, a little bit make more it bigger. Pink. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cause so it'll be a little contrast. Dude, with the brakes. this is this is one of the cleanest specs that I've seen. You like it? I love it, man. Like this is to me when I think Lamborghini, 
this is the color that okay. comes to mind. You know okay. what I mean? So yeah, you you hit a home run with this one, I man. Appreciate it, man. <laughs> I appreciate it, man. The thing I like about the Verde Ithaca is that that pink flake, man. That's yeah, cool. yeah. It's I really soft. didn't notice it till I got up close. Like, I can see it in the sun from here yeah, too. It's got that, oh, different like. If it's cloudy outside, we got a beautiful day. We got lucky here. I know, but I know. If it's cloudy, um, you can see it more. You can see man. It more. Yeah, so man. this is my dream spec, man. You got you got you got me dreaming now. Don't, my only problem I'm like, I'm looking at your height. Your height never really translates. You wanna have a seat? Yeah. Oh uh, no, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alright, so yeah, man, like I'm sure you can fit in there. I'm like about six one. You, what, you about five eleven? Five eleven, yeah, like, yeah. You fit, you fit fine in there, man. All right, but you see, but you slim though. I got, I got that that happy weight on me. But no, but, I'm, I'm super happy with it, man. I gotta, I gotta get, it, I gotta get it done to my spec. I'm gonna wrap the um, the mirrors black. I'm gonna wrap the roof black. Oh, okay, okay. And, um, I got some little ideas on what I'm gonna do in the grill. Mm. That's gonna make it my just my little thing, and uh, yeah, I can't wait, man. I, to be honest, man, I know you have your vision, but I'm just looking at it now, and I'm like, man, this thing is perfect, yo. Like, like even the seats, how it complement the color, oh, yeah, like that's, that's the star of the show, the inside, yeah, right? Yeah, man. So, my, my, all of my other ones are like black with little touch of like red stitching. Right. Did, how did you get that green in there, man? Oh man, that, that's, um, so you can you can spec it like they can even do wilder stuff than that. But it's uh it's green alcantara in the center, mm -hmm. so it breaks up the leather a little bit. Right, 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 um, yeah. And yeah, man, I'm it came out perfect, man. I don't know if you want to get a close up. Yeah, definitely, man. Oh yeah, that you can see. You know what that Alcantara looks like? Remember like Slave. those seventies shows? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, get the sway yeah, right man, that is beautiful. I haven't even really taken a good look at it other than on the inside. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, this is definitely the Evo. <laughs> yeah, this thing is gorgeous, man. You, you, like I said, you had a home run with how you spec this one out. Now, so. yeah, oh, 100%, man. My only question though, yeah. are you gonna be driving this all the way back back up to Ohio? So, I got a nice little tour planned up. You all watch, right. You watch NFL? Not really. Not really? Okay, yeah. so, I, I, I'm heavy in NFL. All right. Um, Cause that's the only sport I can watch. I can't watch like NBA and stuff. I like playing basketball, but anyway. Yeah. I'm going from here, mm -hmm. so I'm gonna stay a night in the Fountain Blue. Right. So that's the whole Miami experience. Yeah. Uh, tomorrow we're gonna get up. We're gonna go to Atlanta. And we're gonna do a foodie thing. Ooh. So we'll okay. Stop Atlanta, like, okay. And do the foodie thing. Eat some good stuff that you see on Instagram. No doubt, like no doubt. I know my my, my homie 100 Gang Nate gonna love to hear that. Okay, He's in Atlanta. So Atlanta. Yeah. yeah. So 100, 100, was it 100 Gang Nate? 100 Gang Nate. Yeah. All right. So. You gotta let us know where to go. Yeah. <laughs> um, we're gonna be there in Atlanta for one night. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna eat dinner, eat lunch in Atlanta, and then we're gonna head to um, Tennessee. Okay. And then in Tennessee, I'm gonna catch a Cowboys game for the first time in my life. I'm a oh, Cowboys wow. Fan. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, so you so, like getting your heart broke. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, so we're gonna I don't follow that. football, but I know that much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we, we know them for disappointing, but hey, yeah, yeah. we got a good year this year. Okay. So I'm gonna catch my first uh, NFL game. All right. And, uh, and then stay a night in Nashville and then head back to Columbus on um, Friday. Okay. So like okay. a full Christmas week. Right, right, right. Uh, taking our time traveling back. I'm gonna leave it kind of exposed. Right. For the first leg of the trip to Atlanta. Uh -huh. And then I'm gonna put some um, tape on it to cover Just it Just to cover it, yeah, yeah. Cause that, that paint is exquisite. You gotta, you gotta protect that, man. Yeah, man, this is my favorite color of the Lamborghini paint. Like, like I said, man, when I think Lamborghini, this is the color that pops into my head, man. I, for me, I just used to say bright green, but I didn't know what that physical color well, was. Well, got a bunch of different ones. Like that one over there, I think uh -huh. it's Verde Selvins, I think is what that's called. Okay. It is, it, it seems a little bit darker than yeah. this one. Like if you get a close up, you'll see the flake that they use is different. Right. This one has a pearlescent pink flake in it. Right. That one, let's go take a look. Yeah, let's take a look at that. You okay? <laughs> you good? You hungry? You need another drink? Like supercar, stop speed. This is Verde Selvins. Oh yeah, I'm not seeing that pink flaking, but the sun is not hitting it either. I, man, there's one, there's one in the other showroom. Oh, they got my car right in the front. This is very similar to, to that one. Dude, I saw I saw your car. I was like way across the street by the light, and I saw oh, it. Saw yeah, it, it pops. <laughs> it pops, man. Yeah, I think this is. Uh, I think this is Verde Selvins. Okay. This is a, a newer color that they make. Okay. 
But I, what I don't know is how they got that wing on the back of it. Yeah, I'm, that's the first thing that catch my eye when I look at it. I'm like, what wing is that? I don't, I don't know how they got this wing on the back of it. And it looks like it's carbon fiber. Carbon fiber. I guess you can, I guess you can buy, that's an Evo wing. No, that's a, um, it's the new version called the, uh, Technica. I think this is a technical one. Oh, okay, okay. But, but they got a bunch of um, Huracans, like their last batch of 2023 Huracan Evo. So yours is a 23? Yes. Yeah, oh, dude, you're getting the last of the Mohicans, yeah, it's, man. It's the very last uh, Evo that you can get. Oh, man. I gotta, I gotta lower that thing though, man. So that's a, that's like a, what, what's above a home run, yo? <laughs> I mean, I guess if I got like a, uh, a Technica or a uh, STO. I mean, but I, I'm happy with it. I think I think that is dope. Yeah, man. I just think I feel like the seats with the color. That's like that's that's goals for me, man. I love the color, bro. Yeah, yeah. That's tight. That's tight. But yo, yeah, man, I'm like, you're one of those guys that um, like I watch other YouTubers and stuff, and I haven't found too many people I felt as like like-minded individuals. When I saw you, I'm like. That's a dude that I could like look up to because I see the the like minded, you know what I mean, positivity and stuff. Uh, Rich, I'm from Trinidad. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Caribbean too. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. My, my dad's from down. My dad was born in Miami, but his dad came from the Bahamas. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So, so that's the vibes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So I'm like, so yeah, guys, if you watch my channel, you definitely got to go follow Will Motivation. Appreciate it, man. You know? Like, uh, yeah, man. He's one of those those people that inspire you to do better, and you see like what being a good good people do win in the end. You know they what do. I mean? Yeah. That's 100. percent Yeah. Like, so my thing about that is, it's energy, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you put out good energy. Good to come back. It just comes back. Like it might, it might take a day, it might take an hour, it might take a few minutes, it might take a year. Right. But the more good energy you put out every time you interact with somebody, yep. it's coming back, bro. Facts. Because even like, like even like in your city, like mm -hmm. man, doing something small like opening the door for somebody mm -hmm. and saying hello to somebody, it's going to register. Especially if they weren't about to say it to you. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna yeah. Register yeah. to them. They're gonna be like, maybe I should say. Maybe I should. Yeah. And then they, it, they and pay it, forward. Yes. yes. Bro, it becomes like a, a, a tidal wave. Uh, yeah. Thing. So man, that's why like I don't worry about anything, man. I just try to have good intentions and and share my experiences. So. Uh, I'm appreciative of you coming out, man. And, no and problem, what's man. What's up to your boy? Let me shout you out real quick. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. We, we gotta get a video of him. <laughs> All right, guys, we're back from Miami. And <laughs> how crazy was that? Like, yeah. So, will motivation turned out to be even cooler than I initially anticipated and man it's it, it I get I get why you know why he does what he does like like he like he said in the video you know it's all about creating good energy and the more you know people that he touches the more people they're touching then hopefully we can create a better world and I, and I want to take that energy going into 2023 like I want you guys to know like I, I know everybody especially here in the u.s everyone is kind of like we're in this rat race to like get more money and be the most popping and be the coolest be the the you know the person that gets the most cloud or whatever it is right but at the end of the day we're all human and we all just want to be loved and we all want to experience freedom to choose who we want to be what we want to do who we want to love all that stuff like and i feel like it starts with how we treat each other you know like Everything comes down to how we treat each other. And I know there's some people that they'll see like people that are rich and famous or whatever, and they think that the only way to get to that point or the only way to become really successful or anything like that is you have to screw somebody over. You gotta, you know, you gotta knock the other person down to get to the, to the, the position that they're at. I'm here to tell you that's wrong. And like, I feel like Will Motivation is living proof of that. Like the way to get ahead is to focus on yourself work hard, learn something, like become educated in something that you can do, get a skill. You don't have to go to like college or university or anything like that. Just learn something that makes you valuable. Do something that makes you valuable and then be consistent at it. Like forget all the distractions and everything. Don't worry about what your so-called competition or what somebody else is doing. Focus on yourself and put out good energy. And the more good energy that you put out, the better things will get for you. The harder you work, the better things will get for you. And I believe, quite honestly, that that's the keys to success in life. And and I just I've already felt that, 
But after vibing with uh, Will Motivation, I feel like he just kind of cemented that ideology into me, and I want to. And our channel is going to be promoting that as well. Like it's about good vibes, good work ethic, good people. And with that, race car friends out. And this thing, I, all right, I'll tell you. Like I've seen all the other videos, I've seen everything. I think in person, it's way more appealing. Like way more appealing than I was prepared for it to be. Like look at these wheels. These wheels look like something.